Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on understanding Pinnacle 21 issues in SDTM datasets. So this video is part of the playlist which is titled Pinnacle 21 issues. So if you are watching this video as a standalone video as the first video, I suggest you to watch the previous videos in this playlist because I have covered some details extensively in the previous videos which I will not be covering here. So in this video we will see a issue which is seen in lab data set. So the issue is titled as missing values for LB or RES when LB stat or LB DRV FL is not populated and we will also see uh, or try to address the message which says missing values for LBST RESE which is standard result in character format when LB stat is null. So we will also see how to fix or how, why this message happens permissible value with missing value on all records for LB DRV FL and LB SCAT as well. So let us now go to the sample data. So I have created sample data so based on some of the examples in HTTM IG 3.3 and I have modified few things to demonstrate this issue. So I have created or placed the data in an Excel file and I have created a SAS program to import that Excel sheet into a SAS dataset and then further convert it into an XPT file. So let us run this program. So I have my data placed in a sheet called LB003. So I'm importing it and then creating an XPT file. So when this program execution gets completed, I'll have an XPT file called LB.XPT would be created. So I have that file created now. Now I'm going to my Pinnacle 21 community edition. So I'll go to validator. So I have been running a few of the examples based on uh, SDTM 3.3 for FTA. So I have all those settings predefined. So here we are using the latest available engine which is for FDA 2204.1 and we are running our tests based on STTM and I have as I am using the example data from IG 3.3 I have chosen the configuration as STTM IG 3.3 for FDA. So I have used the control terminology as 25th March 2022. So let us select the XPT file which we have created. So I have my XPT file selected. Let's go ahead and click on validate. So we have our validation complete. It took about four seconds and it said total of 604 checks were performed of which 14 messages were generated. So let us open the report. So on the validation summary sheet, we'll have information related to the configuration file that we have used. So we have used 3.3 FTA. So that is documented here. If someone is trying to cross check this report and if they want to reproduce things, so they would need this information. What version of the software used? What was the validation engine? And what was the control terminology and the ID and uh, SDTM IG that was used? So we'll use this sheet for that purposes. And then, so here we have passed only one data set as an example. So we only have checks related to that data set along with some global metadata related checks. So we are not interested in uh, uh, and trying to fix the global metadata issues in this video as we are only interested in fixing or understanding a specific issue in lab data set. So let us go to the issue summary sheet. So here there is an overall summary of how many number of records were there in the input data set and how many number of issues are present can be seen in the issue summary sheet. If you want to go to and find the individual details for these messages, so we need to go to detail sheet. So let's go there. So this is the report which it's an exact copy which I was showing in the beginning. So I just wanted to show the messages that could be generated. So I have run the same uh, report using the input data set earlier. So I was showing that report in the beginning. So here now we will try to understand the message. So what does this message mean? Missing value for LB or RES when LB stat or LB DRV FL is not populated. So if we see on in the report it said on record 2 so we have lb is null lb stat is null and lb drv fl is null so 
why do we use lb stat so if a re result is not present or if the result is not collected so what do we do is we use this variable called lb stat and indicate that it is not done in this variable and on this particular record too so lborr yes is null but we have not populated lb stat so as per the standard expectation we should have populated it as lb stat is equal to not done so in this check it is saying that when lb stat or lb drv fl is not populated so there can be some instances wherein we will be deriving a record within our sdtm lb data set on that record as this is a derived record we will have to leave the lborr yes null but populate the standard result variables it could be our strsc or strsn so in that cases so lborres can be missing if it is a derived record so there can be two instances wherein lborres be missing so one is if it is a derived record and the second one is if it is not collected in the data if it is not collected in the data we will have to populate lb stat is equal to not done if it is a derived record, we will have to populate lbdrvfl is equal to y. So, in the record is not, so we have not populated lbdrvfl is equal to y. So, it is not a derived record. So, it cannot have lborres null. Or if lborres null, we should have populated lbstat is equal to not done. So, that is not happening in our current data. So, we will have to figure out why that is the case and fix it and then try to see if this message gets disappeared. And then we have this next message which says missing value for LBST RESC when LB stat is null. So here we do not have this component of LB DRV FL because if we are creating a derived record, LBST RESC has to be populated and we should leave LBOR RES null. So LBST RESC has to be populated irrespective of whether it is a derived record or the collected record. So this message also we need to fix it so again this is related to if we choose to populate lb status not done on the record when result is missing then the, this message will get removed and this message will also get removed so if we say let's assume that in this study so on in this example so we are not creating any derived uh, records in our SDTM LB data set. So it clearly said that LB DRV FL is a permissible variable. So if we do not need a particular variable uh, which is of permissible role, we can drop it from the final data set. So again, so similarly, we'll see the case of LBS cat. So this is a permissible variable. Let's say we are not getting any information related to the subcategory of a laboratory test. So we can drop that as well. So in this, we will try to drop LBDRVFL and LBS cat, assuming that we are not having information related to that at the collection source itself, or we do not have a requirement to derive any derived records in our SDTM LB. So as yes, SDTM allows us to create some derived records. So that's why we have this concept of LBDRVFL. So let us go ahead and go to the LB003 fixed. So here is the change that I have made. So I am assuming that my I have missed programming or uh, populating these two variables when the result is not null. So I am assuming that I have corrected my program and now the values are populated as not done in lb stat variable and lb res nd is populated as subject refused based on my raw data so again if you do not have the information uh, in your raw data you would query it with the data management people or the people responsible for entering and maintaining your raw data sets so you would query them and get it corrected in the source otherwise if it's a programming error you would correct it in your sdtm program and then so let's assume that these two things are done so here i have also chosen to drop lbs cat and also lb drv fl variable so here i cannot show that because i i have dropped so i have highlighted those things in my source data for the variables which i am dropping so i have dropped those two variables and tried to fix lb stat is equal to not done and the reason why that sample result is not done or 
result is missing. So here, what is happening? Now LB or RES is missing, and now LB stat is populated as not done, and then LB STR RES is null, but we know why that result is missing by indicating it in LB stat variable. Let us now use this data set as input and then try to generate the report again. So let's go back to our Excel program which reads the Excel file and converts into SAS data set and XPT file. So let's run this. So I have my updated XPT file read created. So let's close the previous report. Let's use the updated XPT file and then open and then try to validate it. I think earlier there were around 14 messages. Now it has come down to 11 messages. Let us open the report and then see if the issues related to LB stat versus LB ORRES and LB STRE versus STRESC versus LB stat are missing. Yes, so other things were also missing. Say for example, in the previous report, we had missing value for LB or RES when LB stat or LB TR VFL is not populated. So this is addressed and this is also addressed. And along with that, we have dropped LB DR VFL and LB SCAT as well. So there were two additional messages which said LB RE ASND and LB stat. Earlier, so in the data which we had, we had only two rows on both of those rows, both of them were null. So it said permissible variable with missing value for all records. Now that there is a record in our input data, which both LBSD and LBREASND is populated. So we have that message also removed from our P21 report. So this is how you can or you have to understand these two messages missing value for LB or RES and when LB stat or LB DR VFL is not populated and similarly missing value for LB ST RESC and when LB ST AT is null. So uh, and this permissible variables we can choose to drop towards the end of the study if we do not have information collected for any of the records. So but for during the ongoing development of the study so we still need to keep those variables and then uh, at the end if we can we have an option to not drop even if it is missing on all the records if it's a permissible variable but explain it in pinnacle 21 or uh, the csdrg saying that these are the variables which are collected but do not have any information present for any of the subjects so that can be explained in the clinical study data reviewers guide so thank you for watching and keep learning